unconscious? Thank you. Teacher conference. Yes. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab my yeah, 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 yeah. My gloves. <laughs> That's cute. Did you get that from J. Crew? I did. <laughs> Plate of potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoy it, tree with black. 
my hair. Like, yeah, it is because. 
because of you. <laughs> and like, I still persevered. I uh, dropped her off at home, and then um, I gave her, her car back, and then I walked home. <laughs> A mere three years later. <laughs> I think what's so inspiring is that you got broken up with on an amusement park ride. <laughs> no, it's like, it feels like a real thing. <laughs> and then you drove her home. My, uh, tell me more about that drive. <laughs> God, that's <sounds> terrible. <laughs> uh, it was pretty quiet, except for. Um, the sound of like there, oh, there was like a lot of change jiggling the cup holder. She always hated about me because I kept putting my change in her cup holder. <laughs> That's not where it goes. Put it in the bank so you can take it out a real day. <laughs> Put it in the bank so you can take me on a real day. I did it. What? What? <laughs> take me on a real. Date? I, I want to go on a real date. Okay, oh. we fell in love in high school and I'm just not so sure anymore, quite honestly. Okay, no, no, no. Look, I've got enough. <laughs> <laughs> I've got enough for two Whopper Juniors. That's a lot of Whopper. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us more about that really, really terrifying time at Burger King. <laughs> Belly, man. <laughs> Interesting stuff, guys. And how did you overcome that experience? <laughs> well, when I talked in the clown's belly, she said something back, and I said, What? And then she said, I just need your order, man. Wow. And then I said, Two up for juniors. This is the best TED talk I've ever <laughs> light is in. There's going to be a red, a, like a red laser pointer light, so you just need to tell me which side, to your left or to your right, in the upper hand corner. There's all light, it's not just kind of like red all over. How did you get here? <laughs> well, that's a great thing. <laughs> okay, 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 sure, so. Uh, yeah, ma'am, no, the car, yeah, you got it in the car, so that's great. I'm in a car, yes. Yeah. So, um, I need to get to my doctor's, thank you. <laughs> okay, great. You get to go to the doctor? Yeah, yeah, you know, um, I really need to glasses, and um, I, I've been saving and saving, saving for this appointment, so here we go. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, what? I don't know. <laughs> All right, so um, to get you checked in for this appointment, I'm just going to need your... Uh, your uh, insurance card. So just let me see what insurance you have. Insurance. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Okay, a hard stop. <laughs> you don't have insurance. No. But all I know is that you are a blob of a person. <laughs> so, wait, okay, you just told me when you walked in, you just announced that you were going to drive. <laughs> None of you. <laughs> None of you. None of you want to drive home with this young woman. Okay, so I just compliment your face if I can see it. What do you need me to do? I just need you to fill out this form. But just for my own uh, personal asking, why don't you have insurance? Well, it is expensive. <laughs> it is. Uh, you know, I could talk about it, but I might get emotional. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a chair. I'll sit on this chair. No, it's not a chair. <laughs> you know, okay, now you know, I know, I know. You got my, you got my <laughs> tissues. That's not your chair. <laughs> some of 
my students that I'm incompetent. <laughs> and I like to think of it as more of a positive quality than a negative one. <laughs> Incompetence, what is it? The inability to be competent. <laughs> competent is but a mere word, as Shakespeare, I think, said. <laughs> Science really has no way of knowing, though. <laughs> I want that to be clear. <laughs> I don't generally know what I stand before my students and talk about. And I'm going to go ahead and make an assumption that human beings generally operate on a binary. Right? <laughs> right? By binary, I mean binary. <laughs> and if you know what binary is, great, you can put it in the box of questions that are, you know, the questions that. The question is anonymous. Uh, anonymous, you know. So yeah, I, I mean, I like to say that uh, every day is a small win, you know. For instance, I was able to actually impart upon my students the word of incompetent and binary. So you know what? Who cares that I don't know what those mean really? <laughs> Who cares if I don't know what those mean really? Because sometimes I give speeches where I talk real, real slow. <laughs> I move my arms and, I, and I'll crouch down and it's all about gestures, you know, and I have a box for questions and honestly, eventually people are going to see that this is a really, 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 really good time for me. <laughs> Gesture. <laughs> and I can get rid of that. I can stand here and say nothing and just stare at you in the eye. <laughs> it feels insane, doesn't it? <laughs> I could do that. Or I could also just speak in a way that you can't understand me, like Brian told him to do So, anyway, back to basic arithmetic. <laughs> Still mine. <laughs> you sit, I stand, I talk, and keep you as long as I want. Yeah, but and it's the rules. Every day you say one plus one equals something different, so I'm very confused. <laughs> I don't know the 